Rear Admiral William Sterling Parsons, known as Deke, lived in this house with his wife Martha and their children Peggy and Claire. Los Alamos Historical Society Executive Director Heather McClenahan and historian John Hunter describe Parsons' key role in the Manhattan Project. He was an integral, integral part of all of the work that happened here. The Manhattan Project probably could not have happened without his organizational skills and his ability to get things done. He is known as the Atomic Admiral. He's actually a native New Mexican, and uh, we're very proud of having him as part of our heritage. Deke Parsons went on to ride in the Enola Gay and armed the, uh, the little boy bomb that then dropped on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. So he was, he was actually instrumental in, in delivering the atomic bomb to Japan. Peggy Bowditch was Deke Parsons' oldest daughter. She recalls meeting the famous physicist Niels Bohr and the time her mother had an unexpected visitor. And often I'd be passing hors d'oeuvres at cocktail parties. And I remember that one, one night I was told, shh, shh, someone named Nicholas Baker is here. But that was the code name for Niels Bohr. So I just listened for a while and I, I got both names. And I dare say I passed him cheese and crackers. We had a very nice house. I think it was probably the biggest house on Bathtub Row. We were down at the end, and we had the distinction of having two bathtubs. And that got us in a bit of trouble once because there were only showers in all the army construction. And there was a soldier being released from the hospital, but the nurse told him that he would need to take baths. And he said, well, where? And she said, oh, Mrs. Parsons wouldn't mind. The trouble is, she didn't tell my mother. <laughs> and mother arrived home to find this poor soldier in the bathtub, <laughs> which I'm sure embarrassed him more than it embarrassed her. 